Hashtag SharpieGate is just one unfounded conspiracy theory that has been really rumbling on online. It claims falsely that people who had used a Sharpie, which is a type of marker, their vote wasn't counted. So much so that on a state level, we've seen numerous uh, state agencies having to come out and debunk it. For example, the Michigan uh, Department of State saying the use of Sharpie to uh, mark a ballot will not invalidate or cancel a vote, saying don't believe those online rumours. Now, online rumours, they don't just exacerbate tensions or further polarise, they have real world consequences and we know that just recently the Attorney General in Michigan released this statement urging people to, to stop harassing her, her staff, saying here uh, do not uh, harass staff, particularly after that Sharpie uh, conspiracy theory started to go viral on social media. Now I spoke to Dr Joan Donovan, she is a research director on the Shorenstein Centre in Harvard University and she said there are some real world conse consequences that are happening right now. So right now, what we're seeing is a lot of different calls to action uh, in public of uh, the protests around either keeping up the counts in some states or stopping the counts in other states uh, have uh, been enormous. There's been a lot of interest in them. Not all of it is misinformation, of course, but some of them, uh, some of these groups are uh, mobilizing based on misinformation, specifically claims of voter fraud, which we don't have any um, you know, serious evidence of at this stage. But we do have people mobilizing in the streets and calling for, uh, specifically in Pennsylvania, a, a stop to the count, which it has been temporarily halted as oversight measures are getting put in place. Hashtag stop the steal is another hashtag that was trending, alleging falsely that there was a steal going on uh, for the Democrats stealing votes. Just one Facebook group that was created about 24 hours ago, it gained over 300,000 followers and was then taken down by Facebook. Facebook said that the group is organised around the delegitimization of the election process and they said they saw worrying signs for violence from some members of the group. There are some things that you can do when it comes to misinformation though. You can be aware of your own biases, you can step back you can also do this. And so if you're a casual observer, pay attention to those things and see uh, if you see any calls to violence in the replies or in the comments on a Facebook group, report them and report them quickly because this is happening at a scale that uh, the platform companies can't keep up with, journalists can't keep up with, and even civil society researchers and, and folks that have been on this for days and days now, they're starting to get exhausted. And so we need people to be looking out for those uh, calls to violence and, and reporting them online quickly. Platforms are taking action, but for you, always stay ba step back before sharing very controversial, or very uh, polarizing content on social media.